I truly hope that uh, you are able to join us for a day of prayer and fasting yesterday. Um, we would love to hear from you if you were able to do that, uh, fasting either for one meal or two or throughout the day, and, and what insights, what was God showing, leading in your life. Please email, email us or respond to us. We, we truly would love to hear from that. So at this time, we, we've talked about God's presence in the Lord's Prayer. We've had an opportunity to praise Him and, and to look at uh, His purpose and our purpose and so today we're looking at God's provision, where Jesus' prayer says, give us today our daily bread. You see, this truth truly is at the heart of the Lord's prayer. And it encourages us to understand our dependence and have a dependence on the Father who provides for our daily needs. If we truly understand that that everything that we have is actually given by God, and therefore it is God's, then we should ask our Father each and every day to, to provide for us of those needs. We need to ask God for our daily bread and understand that, that we humbly acknowledge Him as a God who is giver of life and a giver of all that we have. If you were to look down in, in Matthew 6 where we're taking the Lord's Prayer, Jesus actually expands on this, this very concept, is very clear. Down in verses uh, 25 to 34, here's some of the scripture that it says there where Jesus again says, That is why I tell you, do not worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? That's a powerful statement right now. Verse 30 says, And if God cares so wonderfully for wild flowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, tomorrow he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously. And he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow brings its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. What a powerful scripture, especially at this time. God will take care of you because you are vitally important to him he loves you he cares for you it's also interesting and give us today our daily bread as scripture refers to jesus as being the bread of life and we are to hunger and thirst for him that is bread he is the bread of life that gives us life each and every day encourage you that today your prayer focus would actually be for the heart to have a heart and, and to make our prayer for those who who are physically hungry that that those who who don't have the food that we are so blessed to have for those who even at this time who are out of work and need daily provisions pray for folks at this time that that god would just meet those needs and and God would minister to them in a very special way. But also pray maybe for ourselves and for God's people to have a heart, a hunger, and thirst for Jesus Christ, for God's word to be empowered by him. Thank you for continuing to pray. Let's pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed will be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. God bless. Have a wonderful day.